Okay, in this segment we're going to talk about uh, the various techniques for transferring gases from the syringe into something else, some other container, or even into another syringe. This is a very important technique that's used a lot in our experiments. And uh, to demonstrate that, let's do an experiment with this carbon dioxide. By the way, I don't know if you've ever noticed how much gases all look alike, so it's probably a good idea to label the syringes with the contents of the gas. Uh, I brought with me a variety of gases, and we'll do some experiments with all of those a little later. Um, anyway, I use a marker pen that cleans off with alcohol. Okay, well, to transfer gases, one of the simplest ways is to just use a latex tube and uh, that connects to the lure. And all I have to do is take off the lure cap, latex cap, and slip on the latex tubing. And now I'm ready to, gener uh, to transfer the gases. In order to make sure none of the little drops of liquid transfer, I like to uh, do the transfer this way with, with the syringe directed upward, and then as I push down, the uh, gases come out and I know that they're free of any liquids or little drops. The carbon dioxide doesn't leave the syringe on its own very quickly. It takes quite a while to diffuse outward, so you actually can leave it for a little bit that way. In this first experiment, let's try a lime water test on the carbon dioxide and to demonstrate the transfer of the gas to a test tube. This would also work if you're transferring it to a well plate or a beaker or anything like that. So here in the test tube I've put lime water. And the latex tube can go below the surface. Doesn't have to. Carbon dioxide is slightly heavier than air. So just transferring some gas. It only takes a few milliliters to confirm that in fact we did make carbon dioxide. Okay, So transferring to a test tube. The next technique I'd like to demonstrate, I'll just set this aside, is a syringe to syringe transfer. And for that, I have prepared some um, nitric oxide before uh, I came here today, and NO is a, a colorless gas that's, that has very low water solubility, so I washed the gas, and then this is the gas as it's produced, or as it now appears. Before I turn this into NO2, uh, which is very water soluble, I need to transfer this NO to a syringe that doesn't, that's dry. So I want to do a syringe to syringe transfer. For that, I'll use a much shorter piece of latex tubing because uh, we want to minimize the amount of air that comes in contact with the two gases. So in a syringe to syringe transfer, we put the latex tubing on one syringe, then connect it to the other syringe. And uh, then as I push down on the plunger here, this plunger should go upward. It may need just a little bit of help, but usually it works pretty well. Syringe to syringe transfer. Tip that cap over. Now the NO in this syringe is, is uh, dry. In the next portion of this experiment, I'll tr do another syringe to syringe transfer to transfer some oxygen into this. Set that aside. Here I've got an oxygen filled syringe. And oxygen uh, plus nitric oxide produces nitrogen dioxide. The stoichiometry requires us to use one milliliter of oxygen for every two milliliters of NO. 
So I've got about 23 milliliters of gas. So I'll transfer in about 11 and a half or so. You can see the reaction taking place produces nitrogen dioxide. And this can be uh, used then in quite a number of experiments. I'm going to remove the little latex tubing and cap it. Now the gas can be stored for until used in class or whatever and it, it can be used for quite a number of experiments. So syringe to syringe transfer. Um, 